I'm Brandon Gordon. The Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Check four. Check four. Check 52. They run. Devontae Freeman. Pass the 20. And they can't bring him down. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. A big run there by Freeman. 48 yards. Julio Jones, the lone receiver left. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll look to run with Freeman. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there and it's second down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Second and goal and the lone man in the backfield is Freeman. Ryan. And he's got star receiver it's Jones for the Falcon touchdown Julio Jones his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Falcons push further out in front True able to connect on the extra point and his guys will take a 10 point lead To the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get it up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script the start of half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Prescott looks to throw on first. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Prescott got an open man, the tight end Jarwin. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. From the red zone now, Prescott. And he's going to go down. He sacked back at the 24. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And the pressure gets to him again. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Now Elliott. 
And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Prescott to throw on fourth. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tavon Austin, 30 yards, as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for it and having that type of, well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen in that situation. You're supposed to be able to shut that down and get the ball back for your own team. Instead, they give up not just a big play, but a touchdown. Goes right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. Forbat to send it away now following the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. 20. Touchdown, Falcons. Devontae Freeman with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons push further out in front. So what was already a game to remember becomes even more so as that touchdown run, a lengthy one, takes him over 200 yards now for the game. And I love the fact that to get over 200, it took a pretty good sprint, didn't it? I mean, a lot of times you get one or two yards and, oh, he's over 200 yards. But that really put an exclamation point on the game he's having. Fantastic. A lot of fun to watch. Back now in Atlanta, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. 